Hey, what's up guys? Gannon here, back with another segment of WFC. Today, I have something really fun and really delicious to make. We're gonna be making a Le Classique Burger. We're gonna be making like a classic double cheeseburger today. I'm going to be mapping it off of the In-N-Out Burger because out of all the classic American burgers I've had, the In-N-Out Burger was the best. And since we can't eat In-N-Out Burgers anymore, we're gonna be making it here in our kitchen today. Over here, you can see I'm making two burgers today. They're going to be a little bit different ones for me off camera, but this right here is what we're going to be using today. We have two three to four ounce patties that I made out of like this seven or eight ounce patty right here. Over here, I have the burger bun that we're going to be using, just a classic toasted white hamburger bun. And then on the bottom of this, I put margarine, garlic powder, parsley. You know, you could just put margarine on it. I just was getting a little bit fancy and that's a little bit untraditional anyways. Just me wanting a little bit of extra flavor. Also, you're going to be needing some cheese if you want cheese on it. I have some cheddar cheese slices over here and you're going to be needing your fixings. LTO, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle is what is customary, but I think like maybe only 10% of the Earth's population even likes it like that. I happen to like it like that, but of course this is a burger. Make it however you want to. First thing I'm going to do while we're over here talking a little bit is put like a big glob of margarine in the pan right there and just let that melt. And um, also you're gonna be needing some condiments. What is traditional is mayo, ketchup, and mustard. I'm gonna be using all three. And I am also gonna be dipping it in some barbecue sauce. <laughs> but yeah, just use whatever you prefer, of course, because this is a burger. And if it isn't you, then it isn't made well. Alrighty, now we have our whew, margin over here heating up. And I'm going to be putting this big patty down there and our two small patties into the pan. We are going to let those sear and get a nice crust on them. All right, now that over there, while those are cooking, I'm going to be assembling the burger because this is very important. The assembly process is like, like everything. All right, so over here we have a head of lettuce. Now the In-N-Out burger uses like whole pieces of lettuce, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. You know, fold it into something that you can, you know, like hold and work with and manage. That right there is very fine and appropriate. This is the top bun, which is where you're gonna be wanting to put your LTO toppings. Alrighty, now a crisp piece of tomato, a nice, ooh, like three onions, because we love onions here, and then one big schmickle right there, bam. LTO, schmickle, right over there, and we are going to come back over here to our burgers and see now, I'm gonna look at the bottom of this. That did get a nice sear. Now for a thicker patty, this is just a tip, you wanna get a sear on it, and then you wanna press it down, because you'll see here in a moment that it creates this nice little circle effect. We're gonna flip our small little patties over here. Got a nice brown on them. Bam, that looks really, really, really good. Now we're gonna flip this over and you'll see that nice little circle effect right there on that end, and then it's gonna get like a nicer sear on the other side. I'm gonna reduce the heat, because I don't wanna burn these. Just wanna brown them. Reduce the heat over there. Now we're going to be applying our condiments. First thing you should always put on the burger, if you're going to put it on, is the mayo, because this is what's going to kind of like mix together and add that creaminess to all the rest of your condiments. There we go, that is an appropriate amount of mayo right there. Don't need too much. Ketchup, now be careful, you don't want to put too much on there. And then a fine, very attractive drizzle of mustard. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect amount of thick sins. Say it with me, guys. Thick sins. It's gonna pop on the screen right now because that is what these are. Thick sins, the stuff that's gonna make your burger delicious. Alrighty, guys, now these burgers are cooked, and the last thing to do is going to be. I should cut this in half. Should I cut this in half, Troy? Yeah. Yeah, I've made the executive decision to cut this in half. There we go. Bam. Now we're going to take our pan over here, a little splash of water. That is going to create a lot of steam and that's going to get our cheese nice and melted. Perfection. 
patty number one, patty number two, and we're gonna have that cheese kind of crisscross in it off effect right there. Alrighty guys, now I'm gonna move all this junk over here because what we're about to do is nothing short of professional, to say the least. All right, now we have our top bun with our fixins on there. And the last thing to do, stick this baby right there. And we're gonna wrap this. This flap under, this flap under, this flap under. Whoa, look at that. I am a professional. Don't let anybody tell you that I'm not. I'm a professional. That right there looks like it's something out of a magazine, does it not? I hope you were paying attention when I wrapped that because I'm not about to show you again. I am so tired, I just got done with my run and this burger looks so freaking delicious. This looks like an In-N-Out advert right now. No cap. All right guys, that right there is our classic double cheeseburger with all the fixings and all the condiments. And now I'm finally ready to take a bite. All right guys, got the thumbnail picks. Finally ready to take a bite. I'm just gonna keep the screw in there to keep structural integrity. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, I'm trying to swear less. My New Year's resolution, but yeah, I'm not gonna swear here, but this is so bleeping good. This is like the top 10 burgers I've ever had in my life. For sure, maybe even top five. I made this with such care and expertly crafted it. And I think you guys can see photographic evidence how perfectly crafted this burger was. I'm just gonna say, this is 10 out of 10. Please follow every step I did to the T. And if you get something like this, then oh my gosh, I hope that you have a similar experience to what I'm experiencing right now because this is a delicious, delicious burger. With that, guys, I really want to go finish this burger. If you enjoyed, please slap a like on the video. Please leave a comment, any suggestions for what you guys want me to make next. And with that, guys, I'm going to have to see you in the next one.